For our next game, we're holding an auction. We're going to see if we can get people to spend more than 20 bucks on a $20 bill. But there's a catch. The runner-up also has to pay the amount they bid. That extra rule might not seem like much now, but we guarantee it'll come into play later. How high do you think the bidding will go? We're going to start off at $1. In the back, number 505 is in for $1 in the purple shirt. I've got $2 right there at number 222. $2, who wants to bid for three? For three, number 202, do I have a $4 bid? I've got a $4 bid right here in the front of the room there. Wow, our auction's off to a great start. If it ended now, the winner would get a $20 bill for just $10. But things are just getting warmed up. Oh, can I get $11? $12 bid and $13 the bid. Do I have a $14 bid? $14 bid, number 808 right there. 505 is back with $15. Right now, this guy owes $15 for $20, which means he's still ahead $5. But second place owes $14 and gets nothing in return. If you had bid $14, what would you do? Lose your money or keep going? This is where things get interesting. $16 is the bid we now have here, and $5.75 is in for $17. While most of the crowd is starting to realize that something's not quite right. It was crazy out there, so I ended up bailing out. A few intrepid people stay in. Number 202 is in for $18. $19, number four is for four. Come on, baby. We never saw this coming. This is incredible. OK, now it's down to these guys. But let's take a second and think about what's about to happen. One of these guys is going to spend $20 on a $20 bill, and the other guy is going to spend 19 bucks on absolutely nothing. Will they keep playing or quit while they're ahead? And there it is right there, a $20 bid. This guy just bid $20 on the $20 bill. At this point, it's a no-win situation. One person is going to overpay for a $20 bill, and the other person is going to pay a whole lot of money for a whole lot of nothing. Will they keep bidding? or will they realize they can't win? There it is right there. There's a $21 bid right now. Do I have a $22 bid at number 202? $22 in the bid right there. 22 in the back of the room, number 202. This auction just went from who's going to win the most to who's going to lose the least. At this point, they're just throwing away money. Four, four, four is back there. At $23, it's once again a two-horse race. And 202 is back with a $24 bid. And there it is, a $25 bid right there. Oh, Will you give me 26? I know you got it there. Two on two notes. And there it is, $27. The pride is kicking in at this point. He's rolling the dice. And there it is, $28 of the bid right now. The unusual rules of this auction are forcing these guys to make what looks like irrational choices. What would you do in this situation? 